left, um, Mr. Bluestein announced in class that he had decided that we might take a trip to Russia to visit them in the summer. It just struck me that if they could, under very difficult circumstances, come to America and travel cross country, surely we could go to Russia and have a real exchange with them as well. I was afraid. That was my main, main thing, was I was afraid to go because I was so unsure what to expect while I was in that country. I mean, I didn't know what to think because I never had an experience like that. So I was like, okay, well, I'll concentrate on getting the equipment together. I was always curious about it, but I never really entered my mind, gee, I want to go to Russia. Oh, nine-hour plane ride. Okay, we're really leaving. You know, we're really going, really on the way. There's, there's no turning back. When I first found out that Americans were going to live with our families, I felt very insecure because I hadn't ever met any foreigners before in my life, not even Americans. It didn't quite hit me that I was going until I was on the plane. I've never been in an airplane. Uh, I'm up in the air. It's kind of fun. Can't hear anything right now, though. I realized that we needed someone on the trip who had a knowledge of Russia and the Russian people. I learned that there was a recent Russian emigre who had moved to Memphis named Leonid Mazur, and he was also a theater and television director. And I said to myself, that would be perfect if he could come with us on the trip. Very tense. Yeah. In 1992, when we stood in our airport and I say the last goodbye to my friends, my close friend asked me, what do you think when we will come back? And I told him, probably never. I was the last one who moved from Russia. All my family were here. And I received the call from Mr. Bluestein and asked me, do I want to help them? I said, help how? To be the Russian advisor of the big exchange between Zermatown High School and Moscow International Film School. And you will have opportunity to go to Russia with us. Oh, it's interesting, said I to myself. To think of a, a chance meeting in September of last year and then having this happen now is, uh, is exciting but a little bit scary all at the same time. We were over Moscow and we were getting ready to land and I thought it was amazing that there was grass. For some reason, I turned to Kevin, who was sitting next to me, and I said, Kevin, look, it's Moscow, it's Russia. They have grass. That's Russian grass. I couldn't hear anything around me. I was just looking straight out the window, and I was so scared. All of a sudden, it just hit me like, like a ton of bricks. I was just like, um, OK, well, you know, we really don't have to land. It, it's OK. We don't have to. saw it was how dark it was there oh, oh my <laughs> it was then I was scared it felt like I had gone back 30 years 30 or 40 years I was so nervous because here was all of this planning for a year of really Frank Bluestein in many ways just being totally crazy they might despise each other. This might be the most miserable three weeks of everybody's life. And then I'm going to be responsible for that. And then I saw all of them. And they were so happy to see us, so welcoming, so warm. When I first met my host, Yuri, it was really a relief because he spoke English. Says, my name's Yuri, my name's Ashley, you will live in my house. Okay, I'm ready. He, he speaks the most clear, perfect, clear, perfect English. <laughs> Can I be more redundant? And I was really nervous. I didn't know who I was staying with. For all I knew, I was staying on a box in the street. His oh, mom good. speaks English, but don't fall. I'm falling. <laughs> Yuri was great. Hey, <laughs> 
when I walked out of the customs area and I saw all of them trying to communicate. <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I was by that. Well, what do you talk about? You're with somebody from another country. Uh, what do I say? So we just kind of sat there in this really uncomfortable silence for a, for a few minutes until finally Sergey had started talking and Mr. Blusey started talking. They started explaining things to us. On behalf of all of us, I know we'll, we'll talk more through the week, but we're, we're just very glad to be here. And most of all, we're glad to be with each one of you individually and together as a group because that's where our strength lies. We will always feel that we are together. And this is the main point for us. Yes. It's going to take four hours to get home. And I thought, what is going to take us four hours to get home? Why is it going to take us four hours to get home? We have not slept uh, probably about probably about 30 hours, I guess. He and I speak French. Stas uh, and I speak French. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were speaking about four different languages, just mixing them up. We are in our bus uh, dropping off posts with their guests um, all over Moscow. Although we are tired, it is a, it's an interesting way to see the city, I have to say. Interesting being the key word. Don't make me come back there. 